the CEO of the American Nurses Association, which represents America's 3.1 million registered nurses. I want to thank my colleagues here today for speaking out and sharing their perspectives on this issue that is really vital to the public health. Nurses are absolutely committed to promoting the health, welfare, and safety of our patients and the communities in which we serve. We recognize the fundamental impact of the quality of the environment and the impact that that environment has on individuals, on families, and on the communities in which we live. Studies continue to show the link between chemical exposure and serious illness, including things like cancer, reproductive and developmental disorders, neurologic diseases, and asthma. And because of the many chemicals that nurses and other health care providers are exposed to in the workplace every day, they are actually even at greater risk. So one of the things that is important for us to understand is that according to the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, 133 million people in the United States, that's about half of Americans, are suffering from these and other chronic diseases that contribute to about 70% of the deaths and about 75% of the health care costs. Now, for nurses, these are not statistics. These are our patients. And we know that it is always better to prevent an illness than to treat it. And that is why we must ensure that chemicals are no longer allowed to enter our homes, our workplaces, and our communities with little or no testing for human toxicity. Even more importantly, as you've heard, we must ensure that it doesn't take decades to remove a dangerous chemical from the marketplace once it has been identified and that in every instance we must substitute a safer chemical for one known toxicity. We owe it to ourselves, we owe it to our children, we owe it to future generations. Chemical policy reform is critical to our health. It is long overdue. So the American Nurses Association and nurses across the country applaud the Senator for his leadership. We are proud to partner with moms, with dads, with our patients, and with our healthcare colleagues, all of the members of the Safer Chemicals and Healthy Families Coalition to fight for the enactment of the Safe Chemicals Act. <laughs>